And joining me now via Skype from the U.S. state of Indianapolis for more on the U.S.-Russia relations is a global affairs analyst, Kunle Falowo. Thanks for joining us, Kunle Falowo. Thanks for having me. Now, there are those who believe that President Biden shouldn't take this meeting with President Putin in the first place, that this meeting, um, it sort of legitimizes the action of Putin. What do you make of this meeting? Is it in the interest or the national interest of the United States? Well, it's definitely a step <clears throat> in the right direction. Um, when you talk about all the policy and uh, diplomatic ties, uh, the U.S. President Joe Biden had made it known and very clear that uh, America is back indeed and they're back to claim world uh, leadership uh, as against what we witnessed in the past, uh, you know, previous administration, which was more uh, nationalistic in, in nature and wasn't really interested about global politics or global uh, dominance. Uh, uh, economically or or otherwise, but uh, it is very important that um, the uh, American president is having a meeting with uh, the Russian its Russian counterparts. Uh, it's very um, fundamental that we have those kinds kinds of meeting, and it will, uh, you know, in a way, try to define the the. Uh, it, it, it would define what is and what does not obtain. There will be a clear uh, definition of what the rules are. And this is more like a definition of rules uh, where you're supposed to be uh, where you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to be doing as against what you're not supposed to be doing. And and this is definitely something that is um, that is greatly welcomed among world leaders. Everybody uh, far and near has been applauding um, the uh, you know, the meeting, which is uh, going to take place very soon, and we hope that uh, it will be very uh, uh, profitable, meaningful, and economically, uh, uh, you know, uh, important for uh, both countries, but Russia and America, and also uh, the world over. You mentioned that um, this is an opportunity for a clear definition of rules. Can there really be um, a clear definition of rules considering, considering the fact that one of the issues to be discussed is um, the Russian dissident who is now being um, jailed, Alexei Navalny, and President Trump, uh, President Biden rather, made that known. But just before this meeting, uh, that the Russian court has outlawed um, um, some of the organizations linked to um, Alexei Navalny. I mean, that's a clear message from President Putin. Well, uh, in the sake and in the sake of international cooperation and and uh, human rights, uh, respect for human rights, uh, Putin is a very smart leader who exactly knows what he's doing. Um, there will be conditions, and and uh, eventually, uh, because it, it's more of a game plan. Um, international outcry will eventually prevail, but. What, what obtains is how far is the United States or world leaders are going to go to, to talk to the Russian president or to, to plead uh, on behalf of Navalny, and that will determine how far uh, Putin will go in, say, sanctioning more uh, of uh, uh, Navalny and his people or letting him go eventually. So it will determine, but most importantly, uh, we'll have to uh, keep a close one on that because uh, eventually we will find out uh, who uh, is uh, the most uh, terrifying individual in the world. Uh, of course, it's not it's not Biden, but Russia wants to play world dominance too. But so we're going to have to see. But by and large, it's very important that we're having this discussion. And and I know you know everybody believes that eventually. A Russian president will back out, and they'll probably have maybe a, a, a slap in the wrist for Navalny after he's been jailed and persecuted. He will eventually be let go based on international uh, pleads from world leaders. 
And um, not the former National Security Advisor to former President Trump, John Bolton, believes that this meeting is premature and that uh, President Biden doesn't clearly understand his objectives um, when it comes to Russia. We, we know that President Biden just um, took office in January. He's been battling with the coronavirus pandemic in America and has not really had the time to set policies for various issues. What do you think that the clear objective and policy um, towards Russia should be? Oh, definitely. Um, to our credit, Joe Biden came in and inherited a huge mess. <clears throat> he had the uh, coronavirus pandemic, which was ravaging the country. There was bad unemployment. Uh, people were dying in record numbers, and millions of people were losing their lives on a daily basis. And uh, fortunately, we were able to get a vaccination uh, campaign going on. Uh, about about seven, over 70% 70 of uh, Americans have been vaccinated already to the credit of the Biden administration, like he promised before he got into office. Uh, he made that promise. Uh, he made it come through. Um, he came through with all of the promises, and uh, we're eventually coming out of the pandemic, and we are, uh, you know, the American economy is getting better. So to the credit of the Joe Biden administration, the economy is doing pretty well. Having said that, it is time for America to take world dominance and reclaim uh, that space that's been vacant for years, at least for four years uh, with the past you know, previous administration. So yes, it is important that uh, this meeting is happening and it's very essential for world peace and, and global uh, politics. And let's talk about that global politics. He will also be meeting with crucial allies, which is the um, the G7 at the G7 summit in Cornwall. And um, there are a lot of fences to mend because President, uh, former President Trump, did pull out of a lot of organizations. Um, he did had uh, ruffle the feather with um, a lot of countries. Where does President Biden begin? Well. Uh, do not forget that President Biden has been in uh, politics for a long time. Uh, he's, have, he's had over 40 years of doing exactly um, international politics. He's been a junior senator. Uh, he's been in that position for a long time. He's been, he was a former vice president, and he'd been attending these meetings for a long time. And like I said, he's been over, he's been in there doing these things for over 40 years. So I would say that um, it's, he has, there's no other uh, president who knows the terrain of global politics like President Biden. And I know that um, his wealth of experience will come into a fore because of the fact that he's been in the game of world politics for a long time. And this, uh, no, when, when is the actual time to get out there and do those things? And don't forget, this was part of the campaign, this is what, what, what the things he has run on. He had promised the American people that America will uh, again reclaim its global dominance. And this is exactly the steps in the right direction. You're talking about somebody who actually knows how to walk the walk and also talk to talk. We already see that he has started with the UK Prime Minister. We'll see how it goes with the rest of the countries. Thank you so much for talking to us. Global Affairs Analyst, Kunle Falawo. Absolutely. Thank you.